Let's get Kramer's mad dash as we count down to the opening bell. Stacey Rask on some frequent guests on CNBC, and he has what I regard as simply a remarkable piece this morning from Bernstein about NVIDIA. It's a buy recommendation, but it's a bottoms-up approach. And buried on page seven is a, a matrix which talks about how much uh, NVIDIA makes if you get an, uh, this is off their H100 GPU, uh, if you get 100 million queries a day, and if you get a billion queries a day on chat GPT, on a billion queries a day, which I think it could definitely have because it's just so widespread in its use, they would make 10 to $20 billion. I mean, now. And I think that all of us who speak with younger people, in particular chat GPT, everybody runs everything through chat GPT just to be sure it sounds better, looks better. G G Real threat to Adobe, by the way, because when it comes to uh, what Jensen Wong, the CEO, talked about is copywriting and, and the way ads look. I mean, you don't do them anymore. You don't use Adobe. And I know that that it, it, it's really possible that Shantanu Narayan, if he doesn't get this acquisition, he yeah. can fall behind yeah. because of Canva and because of ChatGPT. But this ChatGPT graph shows you that NVIDIA is not only the biggest winner, but NVIDIA is going to be the, arguably, it could become the biggest company. Biggest company. Company. Because you can't do anything uh, on any of these really very, I mean, chat's just one of them, on what's coming without NVIDIA. Right. NVIDIA is just a neural network that's, I mean, when you, by the way, when you talk to me, I, I talk to some younger people at the investing conference, all they want to know about is NVIDIA because they all re recognize that it is artificial intelligence. That's what happened. Yeah. So it validates what Jensen Wong said last week yes. about it being an inflection point. Right. But uh, the other thing is that it, it's almost, it's, it's the most obvious play, is it not? It's the only play. And I say it's the only play because you can't have uh, this generative AI. You can't have accelerated computing because everybody else is stuck on an Intel model. And they've left Intel behind, even though Intel would say that's not possible. It is, but it's empirical. And what I really love about this piece is it tells you that if you're going to want to invest in AI, you don't buy one of those AI you know, but she's one of the yeah. silly ETFs. <laughs> yes, yes. You just buy NVIDIA because it's the only one that, is, that has figured out how to go fast enough, that allows you to do things in seconds. Uh, now, I know that the Chinese have outlawed. I think they want to do theirs with Baidu. But this is the beginning of a new era. And when Jensen says it's as big as the PC and as big as the Internet, take notice. Because the iPhone app store because a Jensen is not given to any hyperbole. Everyone was struck by that conference call where Jensen, he just, he and Colette Kress, who's the amazing CFO, he was playing tag team with her about things that you never thought possible. I remember going out and seeing Jensen about like nine months ago. He said, one day, one day we'll all realize this is the biggest opportunity ever. And then he said, it happened in 180 days.